Hello, my Keratoconus friends. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to insert, remove, and also clean your scroll lens. I know this could be a very, very intimidating process. How do I know? Because I was there at the beginning when I was first introduced to scroll lens. Uh, I was left alone, I was looking at it, and oh my God, it looked like a scary June bug attacking you, right? Even though they say it's not poisonous, blah, 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 but it's a June bug. Hopefully in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to make your um, cleaning, your inserting, your moving process a bit easier. I also made the process easier by putting all the links of everything I talk about in the description below. And if any comments or any uh, questions arise, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And with that being said, let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the things we need. We just need one plunger, right? So I'll take it out of the bag soon. We need one inserter and then your contacts case, your saline solution, cleaning solution right here. And I prefer to do it on top of a napkin because you avoid having some of the saline solution on your sink, which turns it into like some white um, powder. So I would recommend put it in on a napkin to avoid that. If you notice, I don't have a mirror here. That's because I don't need one. Now, if you need one, of course, get one. From watching this video, you'll get a few techniques on how to handle your contacts without needing one. I also recommend doing this on some type of clean, flat surface. So let's get started with first taking these out the bag. The first step we're gonna do is on the inserter, Right, this is the one that gives everybody maybe the hard time the most, is putting it in versus just taking it out with this. The secret to having this done easy, we're gonna get scissors. Towards the bottom right here, we're gonna cut it off. Like just, you don't have to go you know, too far up, but just towards the bottom right here, let's cut it off. Don't be scared, just cut it off. Okay, just like that. Don't worry about it being perfect. The point is to see the hole. Now you see that? It looks perfect, right? If I lean it forward down a bit, it's gonna be dark. If I lean it up a bit, it's gonna be dark. To the left, it's gonna be dark. To the right, it's gonna be dark. So if you figured where we're going with this, when you're inserting, you wanna make sure it's clear, like you can see the bottom. Preferably do it on a, a, a surface or something that could you know, portray non-black. But if you could see that hole the whole time, you're gonna find it easy. All right, so now let's go to, on to the inserting process. So I am gonna show a live demonstration where I take off the contacts I have on right now, AKA go blind. So again, we said we wanna aim for the hole. So let's put the contacts on. Once you put it on, you wanna make sure everything is technically straight, not like leaning like this, right? So if I put it on this camera right here, you see that's bad. That's a bad one right there. See, you wanna put it like this. Now don't overthink this. Now we take out our saline solution, right? Take it out and put it on top. This should last you both eyes and even some. Now. I wanna put in as much solution. How I know it's done is if it leaks a little bit to the side and it's basically overflowing and it's just like a nice curve all over. Now the next step after that is the eye part. And I'm gonna try my best to explain this as easy as possible. It helps, I'm gonna straight out say it. I don't know for you ladies how this is gonna be, but. This is why I can't shoot in the bathroom. So I think the first thing I'm gonna tell you is you wanna make sure you have short nails. For you ladies, I don't know how you're gonna do this, but this is, I just know this is gonna be the easiest. So what you wanna do is put your finger right below the bottom lid, right? And put this pointing finger on the top lid, right underneath the, um, the eyelash and just pull it wide. But you see, the way I'm doing it is the way most of you do it. That's where you mess up. It's because you see there's skin between the thumb and the bottom eyelid, and there's skin between the top eyelid, right? And the, and the way the pointing finger is. So you need to close that gap, go to the bottom now. You see that? That's the difference. And then open it wide. You see? 
the point again about that area, and that's where most people mess up, is not pulling it wide enough. Even though it feels like you're pulling it wide enough, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, but you're not. It's just like you need to really go to the edge. Don't be scared of touching your eye. Technically speaking, you're not gonna even touch your eye, but go towards the bottom, right, and then the top, and pull it up. And so now, when you put the solution, you should be aiming for the center, right? Make sure it's always white. If it turns black, that means it's wrong. So center it back till it's white and push it straight up. So while you're doing that, when people are putting this in, right, they think this is called bending down. This is not bending. You literally have to go like, 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 like this, <laughs> as much as possible, straight back. Not like this, you know, this is your body, and this is a bad illustration, and then the top part. But you get the point. You wanna be as straight as possible. And the reason for that is if you combine the hole that we talked about, plus opening your eyelids on the bottom and top wide, and then you're bending down almost like straight, so you go like that, and you don't move it. You just go straight up. All right, guys, let's do a recap. First, center the scroll lens on the inserter, put the saline solution, open your eyes wide, make sure you center the inserter using the hole we talked about, right? And then go straight up until you see the hole and you're good. And just do the same thing with the other eye. Sometimes with the remaining saline solution, I'll just use it as a quick eye drop just to lubricate the top. And that's it. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you have any questions, make sure to put that in the description below. If you're getting value from this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe as I have more videos coming out. So let's keep going. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is the plunger. Now. I know the plunger could be very, very scary if done wrong. It's actually my easiest and favorite one. So this should be fairly, fairly quick. Before with our inserting, we talked about using the thumb and the pointing finger. Now with this, I just find this easier to do. You get your other hand, it could be any finger, but I tend to do the middle finger and then another middle finger right here. I'm not flicking you guys off, but you get the point and you go towards the bottom, has bro, <laughs> I said bro, did I just call you guys bro? All right, you have to make sure, you have to do it towards the bottom, right? Do not, never, ever, ever put it straight in your eye. Do not do that. That's literally asking for a corneal transplant on the same day. Do not put it straight thinking you just go pow, pow, right? You have to actually grab it towards the bottom as possible. This is where maybe if you're starting off, look at a mirror. But if you just go like this, grab it towards the bottom and then just click it and then it should come out so easy. Again, I'll show you guys a demonstration, but do not, the main thing is do not go straight in and pluck out. Now. We're not in a perfect world. There are days that's happened, that even happened to me last week. I didn't purposely go like this, but it just turns out that if you go like this, sometimes it's so dry and then you mistakenly go straight. Number one, how to get out of that, is call your mama. Call your mama. Mama got a solution for everything. Mama. No, but really, what you wanna do actually is do not panic. Panicking would cause you to ruin your eyes, okay? Now this is not, I'm not saying this to scare you, like, oh my God, this is why I shouldn't do scurls. Believe it or not, scurls are actually more comfortable than any other contacts, in my opinion. Maybe not soft contacts, but the, the small RGPs, you don't, you don't wanna deal with that. So, let's just say it is stuck straight. You don't wanna panic. What I do is 
And it's okay to blink. That's the cool part. You don't be scared to blink. Even when it goes stuck, you could just literally leave it, move your hands and blink and it's still in your eye. But it's not, you're not gonna, you know, it's not gonna ruin it. Just keep looking straight while it's being stuck. i grab my other hand, use either this or a regular um, eye drops, the ones that's prescribed for Casey patients, or, or just use this, um, the saline solution. What that does, it's gonna wet the area. It gets stuck in the middle because it's dry. You got, it, your contacts are dry, and then this is dry. First of all, I should actually mention, to avoid any of that straight thing, you could just wet the tip of this before you go in with either water, the saline solution, or um, the cleaning solution. So, but let's say you forgot and it's dry, so what you wanna do is wet the area. Now this whole area is gonna be wet, and then just slowly, like this, just like turn it slowly and then you'll feel resistance stop and then turn it back the other way. You feel resistance stop. And then as you're doing that, kind of shake it a little bit while you're spinning up like that a tiny bit. But don't go aggressive. Slow, you're gonna feel resistance, then go the other way, shake it. And then just like, eventually it's gonna come down here. And guess what? That's the same thing we actually want it. To, we want the plunger to be is towards the bottom and then you just plug it out. All right guys, let's do a recap for removing the scurls. Make sure you open your eyes wide, aim towards the bottom as much as possible, and just pull down gently, and it should come off really easy. And just do the other eye. Towards the bottom, and voila, it should be good. All right guys, so we're nearing the end. Now, this is the cleaning solution um, for the contacts. You wanna look for the one that says cleans and conditions. And the second thing you wanna look out for, it says for gas permeable contact lenses, okay? So those are the main things you wanna look for. Um, I prefer this brand, I've never used any other brand. Now, when you take out your contacts, now I'm gonna assume that you already washed your hands. Make sure you use hand soap and water and then Kind of hold it right here towards the tip if you want or towards the sides right here and then simply just spin it around see and it came out so what i do is put the contacts in the palm of my hands and then put three to four drops of the cleaning solution and then with your pointing finger just kind of spin it like that and rub it for about 20 seconds 10 seconds on one side and just flip it and then the other side just spin it around don't be forceful with it just um gentle right after you're done using the cleans and condition solution, rinse the contacts with some saline solution. And something to note, you should never use tap water as that could contaminate your contact. Since we're talking about infection, it's good practice to often change your remover, inserter, and contacts case. And then always, always use fresh solution. Don't try to preserve solution like your saline solution, for example. Always use fresh solution. And then you just simply put it in the case Right? And then the last step would be on the same cleans, uh, cleaning and condition solution, you just go ahead and put as much till it covers the whole contacts. The contacts will be um, all the way on the bottom and just fill it till it covers everything and voila, just cover the top and you're done. So thank you again guys for watching the video. If you learned one or two things, please do hit the like button and also subscribe. And most importantly, make sure you share this video with another group or other people that you know who wear scurls, uh, so then you could also help them in some way. Cause this could be a very, very hard, lonely um, world. I feel like a lot of people don't even know about Casey um, and we have it. So let's help others who also have it uh, within the community. And most importantly as well, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.